you if you could uh, go back uh, thirty years, nineteen eighty two. When you eighty three. I'm not quite that old. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. If you go back to nineteen eighty three when you first graduated. Yeah. What advice would you give yourself? Oh, that's a good one. Do you know what? Really early on in that period, I always said. I don't want to be 35 and say I could, I could have been a good painter, whatever. Uh, and I think that quite, was quite a good thing to say. It was, I sort of had this age, 35 in my head, where you know, I really gave the work a chance to you know, go through peaks and troughs. And then if it just refused, if I had, was completely unable to construct a reasonable life, I, I could give up. And say I wouldn't have a regret because I gave it a good chance. So I think actually that 22, 23 year old who thought that, that was quite a good, I don't think I would have changed a lot of that. Um, I would have probably, in a, I, I have a bit more now about how the system works. You know, having RCA after your name helps. I uh, did that quite late. <laughs> Might have tried and done that a bit earlier. Um, Maybe I wouldn't have given up the gallery that I had quite so straightforwardly. Not, not, not a huge amount. Um, yeah, no, not, 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 not a huge amount that I was not trying to take on board at that time. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was, I've been achingly committed to this thing called painting. You know, I went to art school. I don't come from a family of artists. Um, very lucky that my parents didn't have any issue becoming a fine artist as opposed to a graphic designer. Um, and absolutely fell in love with the whole thing. And that's been incredibly sustaining. And then, you know, becoming a teacher and exhibiting the work and, you know, people seem to recognise that, yeah, it's authentic what you're doing and what you're saying. Um, it's very, yeah, it's led to quite a good life, really. I, think I could have had a lot worse life, really. Um, so. I wouldn't say a lot, really, to that person. Good. And what about um, to? You probably do it all the time with your with your teaching. But to um, somebody who's just starting out now in the art world, what advice would you give to them? Um, I would say, don't don't worry about that notion of success early on. I, I think that is such a that that thing of celebrity culture we have. It's, it's such a distraction, and it's, uh, at its worst, it's destructive. Um, it, it's simple. It's about the work and whether that has meaning for you. And, uh, you know, if you, if, if you are meant to do this, and, and, and there's no inherent virtue of being a painter, if it's not what you're meant to do, then don't do it. But um, if, if you can do something where the sort of, correspondence the, the the conversation that you have with yourself is is the right one it's the right language you know this is a visual language as opposed to maybe verbal or, or text or whatever then you're a really lucky person a create to, to have a creative life I think it's a wonderful wonderful thing and uh, so I would would say to a young person you know really just stay in love with it don't worry about the other stuff and just somehow support it. Maybe that's about selling paintings, if it's paintings. Uh, maybe it's about teaching, whatever. Try to maintain authentic relationship with the activity. 